Hey guys, today I'll be looking at a 2024 Hyundai Ionic 6, 168 kilowatt ultimate. Uh, so this is a 73 plate 2024 model. This is the ultimate trim level. It's a four door saloon um, off uh, Ionic range. Looks really nice. You've got these lovely pixel LED headlights at the front here. With these little Hyundai themed pixels. And you've got these aerodynamic flaps at the front which open for cooling and aerodynamics. This car's finished in Nocturne Grey Metallic. The last one I've reviewed was Nocturne Matte and before that curated silver. That didn't have light grey leather though and I think that looks really nice. You've got these uh, 20 inch wheels standard. Yeah, yeah 20 inch diamond cut um, wheel standard on uh, the Ionic trim. Uh, both are premium and ultimates. It's wrapped on Pirelli P0s. This has also got the optional digital side mirrors. I think they're quite uncommon to have on this car. Uh, they're also folding as well. These are the first uh, digital mirrors I've seen which actually fold. You've got the flush door handles on my ultimate trim level only, which is nice. Rear privacy glass on my ultimate. You've also got the same LED headlights at the front, at the back, with the brakes, lights. It's going to be a bit hard to see. But you've also got the Porsche whale tail um, sort of spoiler there with the integrated brake light, which is nice. You've also got camera here with the boot button. This is a saloon, so obviously boot space will be different. It's still quite large though, and you can actually pull the seats down, which is nice and have even more space, very long space. I reckon you could fit about two or three golf clubs in here. Got a charging adapter here, a tire mobility kit and a double-ended charging cable with locking wheel nut. This Nocturne looks really nice. It looks like a dark night almost. You've got electronic charging flap door, which is nice. Moving in on the inside, we've got the full light grey leather interior. This is a bit 50-50 of a black, I think. Um, a few of them have black leather, a few of them have light grey leather. It's a handful, not as rare as the Kona's. But yeah, um, very nice. I think this looks 10 times better than the black. You've got um, light grey on the door panel. You've got dark grey um, seat back, back in here on this back rest. Uh, heated rear seats as well and obviously the materials are quite nice You've got a bit of plastic here this chrome door handle You've got a Bose speaker a bottom speaker upper and lower speaker and you've got some nice texture up here which is overall nice and you've also got this transparent um, storage bin underneath here You've got full carpets as well in contrasting color two air vents USB-C and if you actually sit in this seat, um, yeah, you've got cup holders here. And you've also got, um, if you use the key, the actual um, key blade, you can open up this uh, three-pin charging port. And in the back here, it's quite nice. It's like a Rolls-Royce almost. You can um, move the passenger's seat forwards and backwards for more leg room. It's quite spacious anyway, being a saloon. And you can move the backrest forwards and back and the seat back and forth. And you can move it into a most reclining position. Uh, right now it's, uh, yeah. So it's quite nice actually. It gives you the most, the ultimate leg room back here. This is a key fob as well. This is a new high and die Ionic uh, and Kona range key fob. It's shaped like a H for high and die. And you've got parking controls. This has got the premium relaxation seat standard on my Ultimate. So what you get with that is 10-way electric seats with two-way lumbar. So you get eight-way electric, two-way lumbar. And you kind of got this two-way button, but all it does is just recline the seat, which is quite nice. And you've also got this multicolour here, blue with a fading orange effect and Ionic 6 airbag logo there. It's got the Bose sound system with uh, seven speakers and an amp. Um, yeah, quite nice overall. It's got a subwoofer as well, the system. It's an upward firing uh, woofer on the parcel shelf there. Sunroof standard and ultimate, really nice. 
open electric. It's slightly bigger than the Kona's one. It's more like a large panel single sunroof, which is quite nice, actually. I do like that, seeing that. It's not panoramic, but it is quite large. You've got electric sun blind as well, which is a bit more premium than a, a manual blind. You've got your window switches in the middle here. And you've got your mirror controls down here. Funny enough, I think this is the only car I've seen with electric folding mirrors, uh, so digital mirrors, and they're actually um, electric as well. You can actually move them, which is nice. I don't actually know if it moves the camera there. It doesn't really look like it, but it's very interesting. I guess it's got the lens inside there, yeah. Charging port controls, handbrake, collar mounted gear stick. And you've got four dots here, which in Morse code represents H. Uh, it also shows you different modes as well. Eco, Sport and Normal. The Sport actually looks really cool. It's got 106 miles range and it's 34% charge. So you'll be looking to get about, I mean in Eco you get, well you get 113. You'd be looking to get just over 300 miles because... Yeah, 30%, 33% is basically 100 almost, times by 3, it's 99%, so that would be, um, yeah, possibly over 300 miles in eco mode. Uh, wireless charging here, which is nice, you've got this uh, big touch screen uh, with navigation and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, media, and Bluetooth. You've got a 360 degree camera with uh, self-parking. And a remote park assist. You've got a Bose speaker, um, A pillar speakers as well, which look quite nice. You've got a speaker and then the Bose in a chrome bezel here. And then this big Bose speaker down here. So you get two on each um, side of each door. So you get two here, two here, and then two here on that door. So you get seven speakers because there's one up there. You've got a head up display as well with your speed limit and your um lane keeping and your speed which is nice you've also got on the ultimate trim level you've got heated and ventilated front seats which i love heat steering wheel especially combined with a gray leather and a sunroof it's very very good for summer because your seats will never get hot i mean they don't get hot anyway because they're gray leather but when they're cooled it's very nice or ventilated per se You've got some nice trim here. You've also got that trim down there, the scaly trim, which passes along to this uh, dashboard trim here as well. This car's also one owner, light, into, light headlining. Got quite a bit of warranty on these cars. One owner, uh, very good condition as well. Lovely condition. Let's just try start it up real quick. Yeah, to use your remote parking, you just um, hold this um, switch button, the hold button there, and then you just hold each one of these buttons. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.